Hey everyone, let's play some games today. I'm playing the Shaman in the arena. Got the most votes. The Warlock also got a good amount of votes, but the Shaman won. Let's see our first pick. Alakir, Bloodhoof, or Cho. Well, those are pretty good cards, but let's not pick Cho. Let's see. Bloodhoof is just really, really good. Alakir is also really, really good. Maybe Bloodhoof is slightly better, but I feel like Alapia is more fun. I mean, we're Shaman. We should have some Shaman flavor, right? So let's go with Alakia. And maybe we will get a Bloodhoof uh, as a later pick. <laughs> or double Alakia. Pretty good start. Let's pick the Loot Hoarder. Hmm, Rockbiter is pretty good, especially when you have Alakia. So let's go with that. Lightning Bolt. Yeah, let's get a Lightning Bolt. And another Loot Hoarder. So this could basically be a Constructed deck so far. You could totally see those five cards in Constructed. Uh, these six cards, I guess, because there's another Rock Biter. Uh, let's see. I just need some Fire Elementals and Hexes. Strangle from Tiger? Yeah, pretty solid. Let's pick that. Stampeding Kodo. Yeah, definitely over those two. Let's see here. No to that one. Definitely not. Lord of the Arena? I don't like it. I don't think it's very good. I mean, look at it. It's 6-5, just like a Fire Elemental. But instead of free damage, it has Taunt. And we have the Wind Speaker. It's kind of weak for the most part, but... Sometimes you can really do some surprise damage, especially when you have those two rock biters that I do. Also, the Stranglethorn Tiger plus a Wind Speaker that's 10 damage with a rock biter at 16. I don't think it's a great card, but let's pick it. I think it's better than the other two here. Gadgets and Auctioneer could be pretty solid. We have some spells so far, 3 out of 9 cards. Uh, yeah, let's pick it. See if we can get some more spells on top of that. So this is our first weak pick. Now we have like three not that great cards. I do think the Stormwind Knight is significantly better than the other two though. So let's go with that. Dark Iron Dwarf. Very good. Um, hmm. Okay. So that's a little more lackluster again. Zumpy Chow is actually not bad. Maybe you just go with that. Uh, let's see. Hmm. It's the, at that of the Jungle Panda. I just, I don't like giving the enemy life. It's just, it's not my thing. Uh, you know what, let's go with the Jungle Panda just because that's, I, that's how I like to play. Okay, so we have Unbound. Pretty good, but we only have one Overload card so far. So, not amazing. So probably the Flame Tongue. Especially, it also works very well with Alakia and the Wind Fairy from the Wind Speaker. So let's go with that. Spectral Knight is a very good minion. Let's pick that. We need some free drops though. Huh. Let's pick uh, the Acolyte then, because I'm not picking the Razor Fan, I don't think. Yeah, let's pick the Acolyte here. Get some card draw. Another Lightning Bolt. Versus those two, it's a pretty easy choice, especially because I have a Gatjesan. Uh, I don't like these at all. Nope. I'm actually tempted to pick Wind Fairy just because I have a Gatjesan. I would definitely pick Wind Fairy if I had two Gatjesans, but I do not. Hmm. Okay, so this is the first really bad pick of the draft. So. Hmm. I mean, I do have two Rock Biters, but it's just a 2-3. Like, even a 4-3 would be weak, so a 2-3 with Wind Fury. I don't know. Maybe just pick the Frost Wolf Grunt. Next to a Flame Tongue or something. Ah, okay, let's pick it. Not happy about it, though. Fork Lightning. It increases a little in value because of Gatchisan. We don't have any spell power, though, so... Of course, you can always get the spell power totems. With the cult master, decent with shaman because well, you're bound to have a lot of minions, and you can do stuff like put a flame tongue down between two totems and then 
sacrifice them. Yeah, let's pick a cult master, especially versus those other two, I think. Arjun Commander and Manatite, I like both. We don't have any six drops though. Let's pick an Arjun Commander. Um, but yeah, I like both. Let's see. These two minions, I'm not a big fan of them. Having one Bloodlust in the deck? Yeah. Let's go with that. I don't really want two Bloodlusts though, so I think I'm gonna pick a Warlord here. Yeah. So we need three drops, so let's go with an Imp Master, especially because of the Flame Tongue. So there's our first Fire Elemental. Pretty fine to the draft, so it'd probably be our only one, but we can hope for a second one. Uh, okay, another Lightning Bolt, why not? Dust Devil? No. The Tiger? Sure. Still low on three drops though. Oh, Harvest Golem. Perfect. Stormforged Axe? Yeah, versus those other two, I think it's an easy choice. Let's see, do we want another Rock Biter or another Flame Tongue? So, since we have two Rock Biters and only one Flame Tongue, let's even it out. Uh, and a Lightning Storm. Okay, let's look at this deck. I think this is the best deck I have drafted in a while. It only has one really weak card with the Frostwolf Grunt. But other than that, it's pretty solid, I would say. And then it has like the Alakia finisher. Could be better with a few more Fire Elementals, but can't really complain about this deck. Um, let's go for 12 wins. Alright, let's see what we get. I mean, the only weakness is that it doesn't really have many minions early on, but it has a lot of removal. So hopefully we can like survive to mid-game where the deck really shines with um, some pretty solid minions and maybe get some auctioneer value with all those spells. I would love to get uh, an Alakia double rock by that going at one point. Alright. Let's see here. Well, that's not what I want to see in my opening hand. Let's just keep the Flame Tongue though. Could coin out a totem and play Flame Tongue next, but it's a little risky, so probably not. We do have a Lightning Bolt. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what he does. I think I just pass here. I might actually coin out an Acolyte or something. And then, um, because then the turn after I can play Flame Tongue plus Lightning Bolt to kind of clear whatever he plays. But I guess it depends on what he does here. If he plays a 3 2, then a Lightning Bolt is. Uh, Acolyte is not very appealing. Okay, so this could totally work because the Acolyte could kill that with the Flame Tongue next to it. Yeah, let's try that. So we do this, and then we would also draw some cards. And then hopefully he'll play another free HP minion here, so I can clear the board. Okay, that's not what I had in mind. <laughs> that's the worst that could have happened. Hmm. Okay, so what do we do here? Jungle Panther trades awful with it. But the thing is, if I play Lightning Bolt, I can't do too much else. I can play a Totem. Then I do have a Flame Tongue coming up. But if I Flame Tongue, uh, Lightning Bolt, Totem, I only have three mana next turn. So that's not great. Hmm. I think I might just play the Jungle Panda, and then next turn go for Imp Master, Lightning Bolt, maybe. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. Not super happy about the situation. That Shadow Word pain on the Acolyte really, really hurt. So, we got a Bloodlust. Hmm, we also have a Lightning Storm. But, not super appropriate here. But it's nice to have it as a backup for later. So, I think... What to do? Do what to do? What if we lightning bolt that? 
And then we play the Imp Master. And then... Do I attack with the... Jungle Panda here? Trade that? Let's see... He can kill that... Oh, that's free life. I also have the Flame Tongue coming up. You know what, let's trade it. Let's keep the... Because I don't really want him to kill one of my 1-1s for free with that one. Because I want to possibly play Flame Tongue next turn. Oh, I forgot, that's the other weakness of the deck. It does not have any hexes, but uh, let's see. Yeah, it's it's like it's a little unfortunate here. Hmm. I could do Flame Tongue plus Stormforged. That way, I could get rid of that. Yeah, let's do it. The only issue is that I will be overloaded, so I won't have 5 mana next turn, so I can still not play the Argent Commander. But, I think it's the best move here. So we do that. That. I get rid of that evil Delcia. There we go. Certainly not perfect, but you do what you can. Thankfully, I still have some good cards left in the deck. Like Alakir. Holy Nova. Hmm. Not pleased. But, oh, Gatchison. Very pleased with that. So, like, I needed a 5-drop, that's why I'm pretty happy to see it. So there we go. I'll just hope... Well, it's a 4-attack minion, so Priest can't do too much about it other than Holy Fire. Hmm... Lightning Bolt. Right, so I can Lightning Bolt and Arjun Commander to get rid of that. That seems very appealing. Let's see, so let's do just that. There we go. Let's keep the weapon around. Why not? It's the only weapon in the deck, so... Oh, I guess that's why not. <laughs> oh well. I already got some value out of it. So, Lightning Storm looks very good here. Especially since I do have the au uh, auction here out. Yeah, let's do that. And uh, see what we draw. Okay. Guess it's gonna be a loot hoarder and a totem. Uh, let's see if we can get a taunt totem. If we got a taunt totem, I might have ignored that. And you know what? I think I'm still gonna ignore it because I can't really. Like, what would I trade? Oh, oh I could do that. Do I want to do that? Let's see. I'm a little afraid of another Holy Nova, but then again, if he does have the Holy Nova, then the same result is going to happen. And if I'm lucky, I don't even feel like I need to be that lucky, because he already used just used one Holy Nova, so he probably doesn't have another one. Okay, he didn't. Good. So now we have Bloodlust. Oh, we also have Alec here. But, but is uh, Bloodlust lethal? So let's see, we have 10, 12, 22. <laughs> it's, um, it's pretty close. I think I Bloodlust though, because then trying to finish him up next turn with the Alec here. Let's see, we have 10, 12, 22. I'll trade that into that. Let's, uh, Bloodlust first, and we also draw a card, so it's pretty, pretty good. Do that. I mean, we don't have lethal, do we? No. Do that. Just trade that. Ha! Huh, lightning bolt. Well, we didn't have the lightning bolt before we sacrificed the the little guy. Pretty sure that this is going to be a win next turn, though. We can play Alakia and Lightning Bolt. 
Okay, he's healing a little bit, but that's six, ten, fourteen. Oh, rock biter! Oh, that's perfect. So you do that, and there we go. Okay, that's a good start. It showcases the deck very well. It, I mean, the deck has a couple of weaknesses, but you can't really expect to have everything in Arena. I think this is just like, overall, a really, really good Arena deck. It even has a Lightning Storm, so quite happy with that, because it sh is sure to come in helpful. Okay. I've got a paladin. I will fight with honor for doing hmm. Grunt is not great, but it is one of my only two drops. So let's keep it around. Uh, we got a pretty good curve. So oh, <laughs> perfect curve actually. Granted, you usually don't want to play Gat your Send on turn five, but it's better than nothing. Rock by the yeah, I probably wanna come for those two at one point if we can. Just hope that he doesn't play a two three. I guess if if he plays a two three, maybe I should rock by the totem. Oh well a four three. I think I have to let go of the rock by the here. Do that. And they uh, play a totem. We have plenty of spells in the deck to get for the auction here. And now we have a strangle form for Tire Turn 5. Mind if I roll need? Hmm. Probably use the Dark Iron Dwarf and the totem to kill the. Loot hoarder. Alright, killed that with that. Time for okay. killing. Clear the board without losing any real minions. Yeah, that works. We got a very solid hand, like we got that for turn 5, that for turn 6. An auctioneer for later when we get some spells. Which, I mean, I have like. Three lightning bolts and two rock fighters in this deck, I think. Don't have any silences though, unfortunately. Hmm. Hmm. What to do? What to do? I mean, I'm also tempted to play the flame tone, but eh, probably better to just play the strangle font tiger here. Kill that and uh, let's get that out there. Job done. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Ah, this egg is a little annoying, though. Let's see. If he has a way to buff it here. Okay. He has a lot of weak cards, actually. So that is good. Let's see, we can play the Fire Elemental here. Hmm. So how do I want to do this? Ah, that's a little annoying. Like, I have to attack it twice. I think I might even just trade this one in. I mean, I could do like, like very efficient keeping all my minions alive, but that would leave me very open to consecration. I like uh, that better. Get some damage in too. All right. Yeah, that's pretty strong. Let's see. What could he really do here? Consecration? Eh, that doesn't really hurt that much. 
So what else? True Silver ch uh, Champion? Eh, can't really do too much with it. The worst thing would be him activating the egg somehow. Like and killing the dwarf with it. Like an abusive sergeant or something, but... But even that is not that bad. Okay, so he uses the Consecration. Well, that plus an abusive sergeant could actually be pretty good for him. But thankfully he does not have that. Stormforged Axe? Huh. Interesting. I think I might do Storm with Knight and Imp Master and then go for a Flame Tongue next turn. Yeah. Okay. Still, it's not that weak to um, Consecration, so it's fine, even though I have a lot of stuff. Do that. Get some more damage in on the face. There we go. Yeah. I'll probably have lethal next turn, unless he has something good up his sleeve. But, uh, let's see. What do you got? Equality? Oh no! Is it the Equality Consecration? Blessing of Kings? Okay, well... That's fine, I suppose. I think we just kill him, right? Do that. 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 That was scary, but uh... Nothing really happened. Thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.